Manager from hell. If this isn't scary, please delete it. I'm just really grossed out and freaked out, and I'm not sure what to do right now. Okay, so I just started my first job. It's a fry cook job at a royal fast food chain in America. My first few days turned off fantastic until I met my male manager. At first, he seemed nice, way better than the female manager. He laughed and joked around with me and the other employees, and generally made me feel pretty comfortable at a new place. Fast forward a few hours after meeting him, and shit subsequently hits the fan. I, I feel like to get the whole creep factor, I should probably describe what this guy looks like. He's tall and greasy, fat, has glasses, pimply, grayish black buzz cut, has glasses. He looks like a total neckbeard. He also talks like Rene from Storage Wars. Okay, so I'm getting off topic again, but I digress. This manager is a creepy dude. My first shift with him started off swell, like I said, but after the main manager left, he started. It started off innocent enough. He asked if I liked mini golf. I wanted to be polite and told him yes. Then he proceeded to ask me to go mini golfing with him like four times. I'm a minor and I told him, yeah, I don't think my parents would be very comfortable with that. His response, we can just tell them that Sarah, the female manager, is coming too. I brush this off because maybe this guy is just lonely. No biggie, right? Wrong. That day, another woman, Hannah, was training me. She's about 50 years old and very sweet. I was making the sandwiches pretty quickly and she was excited. She said that I was doing a great job and she hoped I'd stay around for a while because I was making her day brighter. Then the manager came around and says, I hope you stay too. We need more cute girls around here. I quickly excused myself to go to the ladies' room to text my boyfriend about what was happening. Within five minutes, he was at the store. He asked to speak with a manager and explained to them that one of his friends, me, was being treated inappropriately by a male manager. The creeper then comes back to where all of us were standing and talking and begins to flip shit. He goes into full-on rage mode, saying shit like, If somebody thinks I'm trying to steal their fucking girlfriend, I have a fiancé. Then starts showing us pictures of some girl who is clearly not his fiance. I clocked out and went home. I wasn't too scared, since my boyfriend made sure they knew someone was having a problem, and I figured if anything happened, I could just tell him and he would solve it. The next day I went into work, same boring shit. Creepy manager showed up halfway through though. It got slow and we were all bullshitting again, and he came into the back and joined our conversation. I was talking about my boyfriend with Hannah, and she was laughing and calling me cute for blushing when I was talking about him. The manager then says, You should really smile more. It makes you look even cuter than you usually are. You look so innocent. I walked into the back to get my phone. I come back and the manager is standing there. So how old are you? Stupid me answers. Uh, 17, but I'll be 18 in a month. I hope you're still here in a month. We can go out and do something for a birthday. At this point, I tried to walk away, but he was now blocking my path. Luckily, Hannah called me and he moved the other way. That entire day, I worked until close. I could feel his beady eyes staring at me. When I went outside with another worker so he could have a smoke break, I could get away from the creep. He walked over with his phone. On the screen was a picture of an Asian porn star in a school uniform. This is the kind of girl I'm into, he said. I tried to shuffle away slowly, but once again, he was blocking my path. The guy who was outside noticed I was uncomfortable and stepped in between us and said, Dude, she's not even hot. Plus, she's got fake tits. I tried to get away, but it didn't work. The manager then said something that made my skin crawl even to think about. Yeah, but it's the face. The innocence. Something about taking advantage of someone just does something for me. I would like to say that I know the fuck out quit call the owner anything that might be a little bit useful, but I, I didn't. I finished my shift, listened to this dude talk about all the sex he had when he was at my age and how I shouldn't stay with one person for too long. I need to mix it up a bit or else I'll get bored. On my way home, I almost cried. I felt so disgusting. I went in the next day, hoping to speak with a different manager about him, but he was the only one there. I uncomfortably worked my shift while trying to avoid him as much as possible. Eventually, he managed to corner me again, this time asking about the ring on my thumb and my boyfriend. Somehow, the conversation topic changed to the future, and if I ever planned on getting married, 
Obviously, I said yes to try to deter him, but he pressed on. I told him, maybe I'll end up with a woman, you never know. He then began to flip shit again. He said, don't ever end up being a lesbian, that's horrible. At least be bisexual. That way, guys can have a little bit of fun too, don't be selfish. I rolled my eyes and walked away. Later on, the other co-worker went on break. During breaks, we weren't supposed to stay in the store, so I guess he left or whatever. But I was alone with the creep, and I started cleaning, so that when 11 came, I'd go home faster. He then tried to have a conversation with me about what fun I thought was okay at my age. I told him about how I was waiting until marriage, because I have too much to focus on right now with college and stuff like that. He said, Come on, a little fun isn't too bad. You'll just need to feel pleasure, then you'll understand. I was too scared to do anything, so I just went into the ladies' room and felt really uncomfortable. That night, my mom was picking me up. It was 11.30, and I, I was waiting outside of the store for her, so I could just leave. I was waiting outside for like two minutes when the manager comes outside. Come wait inside. A pretty girl like you should be standing out here alone. I told him I lived down the street, and my mom would be here in a minute. He said, I can always drive you home. I'll never let a woman walk home. It's against my moral. I then took my phone out to call my mom to come ASAP. Her contact photo came up. It was a picture of us at graduation. The manager says, Is that your mom? She's really cute, but I think that you're cuter. I called my mom, and of course she didn't answer. Are you nervous? Come here, give me a hug. I'm sure she'll be here in a minute. I never ran so fast in my fucking life. I sprinted out the door away from him right as my mom showed up. Fast forward to last week. I was working till close alone with him. I texted my boyfriend about how uncomfortable I was, and he came to the store and waited in the parking lot for me this time. That was when suddenly the creepy manager gets a text from the main manager cursing him off for not doing his count. He freaks out, throws a tantrum like a child, yelling, kicking stuff the whole nine yards, you know, going crazy. I keep cleaning my shift, not wanting to get involved in this whole, whole situation. He went into the freezer at 11. I did all the dishes and mopped until about 11, 1140. He finally comes out of the freezer, crying. I said, fuck this, I'm done for the night and clocked out. My boyfriend was, waiting outside still. So I walked over to his car and kissed him and shit. When suddenly I look up, and the manager was, and the manager was staring at us. Eventually, my boyfriend drove me to my car and urged me to quit my job. Maybe I should. So... Creepy manager, please leave me the fuck alone. Creepy cook at fast food place. So, I was going through some of the stories on the subreddit. I remembered about a creepy encounter I had a few years ago. I was 20 years old at the time, and I was working at a Chinese fast food place in the mall. I don't know if any of you have been ever wondered, but all the restaurants at a mall's food court are connected by a long hallway behind them that only mall employees are allowed to access to. Due to only workers going through there, and for it being hidden, you can imagine that the place is pretty... solitary. This is important because this is where the events took place. Now onto the story. There was this cook in the restaurant who, for being anonymous sake, I refer to as Greg. Greg was Chinese and didn't speak Spanish, my native language, nor English, only Mandarin. He only understood certain words in Spanish like rice, noodles, chicken, and other food items that he cooked, so that when we yelled them into the kitchen, he knew what to bring out. Also, I don't know how old he was, but he was easily over 60. So Greg, despite the language barrier, was a very bubbly person. Ever since I started working there, I noticed how he always made silly noises when he came up front to deliver his food, and all the other girls would laugh. He generally seemed very sweet and friendly, and I never heard any of the girls complain about him at all. For all I could tell, he was just friendly with everyone and harmless. With time, as I stopped being the new girl... Greg would become comfortable around me too and make beep beep noises when he came to the front to deliver food as his way of asking me to step out of his way for him. It was kind of hilariously cute, and all my other co-workers, like I said, found him pretty harmless, 
so I began to feel comfortable around him too. A couple months into the job, I was already familiar with everyone in the staff, Greg included, so I would always wave hello or goodbye to him, and he'd give me a smile and wave back. I never thought anything weird of our interactions, because they were the same with everyone else he interacted with. Until one day, I was getting back to my shift after my break. I pushed through the employee door to enter the long hallway I mentioned earlier. You could hear noises from the other workers inside their respective restaurants, but no one was really outside in the hall. As I was walking towards a restaurant I worked at, I saw that Greg was just then getting out for his break. He immediately smiled and said my name in the thick accent he always said it with, and I smiled back at him. I didn't feel at all threatened because, like I previously mentioned a million times by now, he had never given me reason to feel threatened. He's still smiling at me, standing in front of the entrance to my job, so I couldn't really just walk past him. Just as I was nearing him, he extends his arm, basically asking for a hug. I've seen him hug other girls before, so again I thought nothing of it and went in for the hug. Call me naive. At first it was all fine and dandy, but my shift was about to start so I had to go. He had been hugging me for a bit too long as well. Not only was I getting antsy, but also uncomfortable. I, I broke the hug and tried to push him back gently, signaling to him I needed to go. And this is when I began to panic. You see, when I tried to push him away, he actually held me tighter and would not let go. I, I was confused, so I tried to push him, push, push against him again, this time a bit more obviously, but he held on even more, pressing me against him. This is when I realized my naiveness caused me to make a huge mistake. I turned my head to glare at him, but the moment I did, he leaned down as if expecting me to look and tried to kiss me. Okay, now I was really freaking out because this was the first time someone tried to come at me so aggressively, and he didn't speak any of the languages I spoke, so I didn't know how to tell him to let me go other than with actions, and before you yell at me for not screaming. At the time, I was so shocked that I didn't even think of doing that. I, I just kind of shut down in that department, and instead tried to figure out a way to make him let go. All this time, as I'm thinking what the fuck to do, he he's still trying to kiss me, keeping me in place no matter how much I struggled, and actively following my head with his lips to try and plant one on me. It didn't matter if we didn't speak the same language. I think it was obvious I wasn't comfortable, so I can't say that he didn't know what he was doing. It was clear that he wasn't going to let me go until I kissed him. So I did what I first thought of. I stopped moving my head and somehow managed to gather enough courage to look him right in the eye. I saw him leaning against my lips, and I pretended I was going to let him kiss me, and then, literally at the last second, I turned my head to the side to try to make him kiss my cheek instead. It sort of worked. I wasn't fast enough, for I felt his lips peck the corner of my mouth. I, I felt disgusted, but at least it wasn't as what he wanted. Just as I hoped, as soon as he planted one on me, he broke the hug, holding me at arm's length, and gave me this huge grin. He then patted my shoulder before finally letting me go and walking away. I stood there shaken, not really knowing what to do. Eventually, I went back to work, but my coworkers asked me if I was okay, since apparently I was pale as paper and my arms couldn't stop shaking. I just shrugged them off. I never reported this to my boss, nor did I say anything to my coworkers, partly because I thought the chef was family and they'd fire me rather than him, but mostly because I was stupid. However, I did avoid him at all costs for the remaining time I worked there and never treated him the same. I also never went alone to the kitchen, nor entered the hallway until it was literally a minute for me to clock in. Eventually, I quit and never returned to that place. I heard he also quit not long after I had. Well, whatever the case, good riddance. The second I knew he put something in my food. This literally just happened a few moments ago. I am a very skeptical person, so I usually don't get caught up thinking random people are out to mess with me. But this scenario just really caught me off guard. Everything made sense, and it nearly made me shiver when I realized it all in my head. I work from home and my sleep schedule gets pretty backwards at times. This means... I usually find myself getting hungry in the late hours of the night. 
At these times, usually past midnight, only a couple places are open. One of these is a 24-7 Carl's Jr. Green Burrito restaurant. It's the closest 24-hour fast food place from my house, and I like their fried zucchinis, so I find myself going there a few times a week. Whenever I go past there, 1 a.m. or so, there's always the same guy alone. Never have I gone there late, and there have been a different worker than him. He's pretty tall, I'd estimate to be at least 6 feet, somewhat slim and probably in his late 20s or early 30s. I think he's just white, but also could possibly be Armenian or some lighter-skinned Middle Eastern type. Anyways, it was just a couple hours ago at 2.30 a.m. when I decided it was going to go to the 24 Hours Carl's Jr. for some food. When I arrived, they played the same usual pre-recorded promotional offer and I said no thank you. Then the guy on the speaker asked me if I could just pull up to the window. While well, I've never been asked this over a working speaker at any other fast food place, it didn't really strike me as anything out of the ordinary. I pulled up to the window, and before placing my order, that guy, the one that's always there alone at this time, asked me if he can just change the battery on this device really quickly. I couldn't really tell exactly what it was, but I'm guessing it had something to do with the ordering system, possibly. After a few minutes, he comes to the window and asks for my order. I order my double cheeseburger and my favorite fried chuchinis. I give him my card, and after a minute or so, he returns it. Now, I've ordered the same exact thing over 20 times at this exact same time, while the same employee was working alone. Every single other time I ordered it, he had finished it in a few minutes at the most. Never did I have to wait longer than that. The first thing I noticed was that it was taking a lot longer than usual. I had probably been waiting about 10 minutes at this point, at least twice as long as I've ever waited for this fast food meal that's basically already prepared. Then I notice something a bit strange. When you look in the window where you pay, on the right side is the indoor counter where the cash registers, and on the left side is the kitchen area, with a dim window allowing you to see inside. A couple minutes before I received my food, I saw the guy doing something on the far side of the room. I found it odd, as he spent a couple minutes there, and it looked like he was messing with something small. All the food prep stations were in the room to the left, and if he was putting the burger together, I'd expect I'd see a lot more arm movement. This is the first thing that seemed a bit strange to me. This is where it really gets weird. I've ordered the same thing from the same guy quite a few times before. So the past few times or so, he's thrown ranch into the bag without me asking. And as he starts approaching the window with the bag of food, I turn over and clear as day, see him grab one single ranch and toss it into the bag. It won't be until later that this detail became really creepy. I drove home, brought the food into my room, sat at my desk, and started eating as I watched shows on my computer. Beside the food, he also put in some napkins, a couple of ketchup packets, and exactly three ranch cups. The kind that are hard plastic cup with a plastic peel on top. I opened up a ranch cup so I could dip the fried zucchini in it. After a little while, I finished the burger and most of my zucchini. There were only a couple left, but the ranch was gone, so I decided to open another. This was the moment. It all hit me at once, like I was watching a good mystery show. And I finally got the telling hint. The second ranch cup opened much, much too easy. I'd been a good share of fast food in my life, so I've opened tons of these cups of sauce before. So when the plastic seal lid, right open without any hesitation whatsoever. I immediately knew something was off, and that important detail came rushing back into my head. I, 100% clear as day, as the guy was approaching the window with the food, saw him grab only a single ranch and throw it into the bag. That memory was literally the first thing that came to my mind. When I opened the second ranch cup, I quickly grabbed the third and last ranch, and I already knew what was going to happen. The plastic peeled right off, even easier than the first cup. Instantly, all I could think of were the details, this order, the same order I've gone 20 times in the past that took 5 minutes at the very most every single time, it took an entire 15 minutes this day. After about 10 minutes or so, I see the guy in the very back of the counter area, messing with something small for a couple minutes. It doesn't seem like he's prepping food, because he's only making slight movements with his arms. When he approaches me with the bag, I see him grab one ranch cup and toss it inside the bag. Not only am I sure I saw this, I'm sure he put sauce into the bag on two different occasions. 
as there was also ketchup in the bag. And even if he somehow grabbed three ranches, would it definitely look like one? He didn't also grab my ketchup at that time. I was looking right at him! I know, this, this may all sound coincidental, but I can't stop thinking about it as it makes well too much sense. Even though I saw him only throw one ranch into the bag, it never surprised me when I saw three ranches and a few ketchup packets in the back. That's why I trusted my response to opening those two other ranch cups, the one that opened way too easily. So easily that the realization that they had already been opened hit me like a ton of bricks. If this is all possibly true, and he did open those ranch cups, it must have been what he was messing with on the counter in the back. Maybe that's where he was using some kind of adhesive to seal them back up, but what what none of this can truly answer? What did he put in my food? I didn't tear the seals completely off the two suspicious ranch cups, so I actually take the tops down with getting tape, put them in a plastic baggie and into the fridge. I know it sounds silly, but if he, if he did really try to put something in my food, I might be able to figure it out with those. Even somehow being able to tell if there's a different adhesive than a normal one used to seal those sauce cups would literally be nearly inconclusive that it was tampered with. Tell me what you guys think. I, I'm kind of freaked out here. I don't feel that odd other than a weird feeling that I kind of want to gag. But I figure that's just me imagining what could have been done to my food. Well, I feel safe as I didn't use those weird ranch cups and only the one that had a tough seal. Who knows what he might have done to my burger as well. Needless to say, I'll never be eating there again. And I'll probably start trying to cook more.